All right, so now that we have all the information we need, the next thing to do, obviously, is to add the user to our database. So down here, let's add the adding button, all right? And we're just going to call this one crude submit. It's going to be equal to a button. And the text for this is going to be add. And we need a size, so size hint. And X this time is going to be none. And the width is going to be about 100. Okay. Finally, the on release, which is what's important here, is going to be a lambda function. And this lambda function is going to call a function we are going to create in a second called add user, which will take all of this information, all right? So it's going to take crude first the text and last the text and crude user the text and finally crude password so crude password the text and designation of course so crude does the text all right so now that we have all of our information we can then create our function here so let's go down here and of course the first thing we want to do is add our button so down here submit now let's create our function we're going to call this add user which takes self Oops. Self first loss user password and designation. All right. And now we're also going to need a date. Okay. So when this user was created. So let's go back here. And from date time, we're going to import data all right now we can go back here and the first thing we want to do is to clear all of our widgets all right so we are going to do this by simply copying all of this we are doing this so that we refresh our data all right so we just copy all of this and before we go back we are going to be using this a lot if you haven't noticed so to update to remove so what we're going to do is up here we're going to create our client all right so the client is going to be equal to mongo client and the db is equal to client dot silver yours and now self dot users is equal to db dot user and self dot products is going to be equal to db dot stocks all right control us to save now let's go down on our add user here and just paste all of these in all right and now down here what we want to do is content dot clear widgets so here we're basically removing all the widgets we have so far all right which is basically that recycle view and we're going to add it back but when we add it back now we're going to add it with our new data all right so let's go up here and simply say self dot remember users okay which is the user's database and we're simply going to insert underscore one what do you want to insert well we have first name and the first name is going to be equal to first then we have a last name the last name is going to be equal to last then user underscore name equal to user 
then we have actually let me cut this right here we have password and the password is going to be equal to pwd and the designation now is going to be equal to des and finally the date is going to be equal to date time dot now all right control s to save all of this and i believe we are done with this one all right so now let's try to run this and see what we get all right so uh now before we run this i want to show you something let's click the add button again and we have this all right we do not want this so before we even run this let's go back to our ad here right and on our all fields here the first thing we want to do before we do anything is clear our widgets okay why we're doing that it's because what if before we had say updated or removed a user then we'd have something up there okay so now let's try to run this and add 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 and it stays like this all right so add user now and we're just going to call this one johnny and johnny test is going to be j test and j test 365 and we're going to say add and show sure enough we get our journey test added in real time all right so we're going to stop here for this one any questions leave them in the questions section otherwise i'll see you in the next one